Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Let's go up to them heavyweights, right? And uh, we don't have to go to the circus this time, but we're going to still do it. All right, that's the circus. You know, that was the negotiation between Anthony Joshua and your boy Deontay Wilder. We got the news that, hey, that fight is off. We already did a video on it. We knew what time it was, right? So at least it's a little good news, right, or news that came from lineal heavyweight champ Tyson Fury. Everybody watch me, three of y'all, AM and the boys, right? AM, you know what I'm talking about. AM and the boys, right? Listen, when the lineal chap talks, y'all know what time it is. It's like, whatever. You know what I mean? It's him, Adrian Broner, and Amir Khan. It is the way it is. But Tyson Fury is fighting again, and he's been calling out everybody, right? Except Louis Oriel, King Kong, Ortiz. He don't even turn his call. Ortiz called him out. So he don't say nothing about him. But this is something he said. And let's hope it has some merit, right? But it's going to be a classic case of be careful what you wish for, right? I didn't say what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for, right? You're messing with Deontay Wilder. He done called, told Deontay Wilder, you send me a contract and I guarantee I'll sign it, right? <laughs> send me a contract, I guarantee I'll sign it. That statement is just too vague, right? Too, too vague. A contract of how much, how much do you want, blah, blah, blah. But at least he's saying if you sent me something like that, 50 million, then it wasn't no question that I would have signed it. And he's following that up with saying, listen, the reason why Tyson Fury, uh, Tyson, uh, uh, not Tyson Fury, but Anthony Joshua did not fight Deontay Wilder is because him and Eddie Hearn are scared. They do not want him to get chinned before he fights other guys, right? It's nothing we don't know. It's just good that it's coming from a Brit, right? Somebody British, you know, because when we say things that were just obvious because of the behavior, you know, you get called things. But you don't get called things by people. This is not people. These people just make one account and just to say something silly and then they'll never be there. You know, don't stand up to what they believe because they just say stuff. It's like, just let's make chaos. No one believes that Auntie Joshua wants to fight the Auntie Wilder. I don't think so. I think it's like 1% of boxing population. You know what? Let's be lenient. 10%, right? Of boxing, of all the boxing fans believe that he still wants to. People who've had access to the information that was that we had in front of us, right? So, whatever. Tyson Fury saying the man was scared, that's why that didn't happen. And there's nothing that we don't know. Now, if he's serious about having Deontay Wilder, it would be a good thing. Reason why is a couple of them. Listen, first of all, Andy Joshua and them are feeling uh, entitled, and we know it. They know that they can fight anybody, and they're going to fill up stadiums, which is England's fault, his fans. If they're going to be that way, then that's what's going to happen. They're going to keep doing that. I've told you a thousand times. But a Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fight would be huge. It would be massive, even if it happens now. No excuses, because Tyson Fury, let's not get it real. Like, hey, Tyson Fury is calling him out now. All right? So when he answers and say, well, let's fight in three months, we don't want to hear, right, that Tyson Fury is not ready. Because if he's not ready, then what does he need to do? Shut up. You mess with Deontay Wilder here. There's certain kind of guys you don't call out because you don't have to finish your sentence before they already say, well, let's go. Like an Errol Spence Jr., right? You don't say nothing. Right? Welterweights be trying to say something somewhere at home by themselves with their families. And Errol Spence already got a bug in the house and already going to call them before they fight. Man, you know, look, man, if Errol Spence would call me, clean, clean, what the hell? <laughs> Errol will call you quick, right? So ain't nobody calling out Errol Spence. They be talking about themselves. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury want this work. He's going to mess around and get it, right? So when you get a return call, do not say I'm not ready. Because if you're talking about 2019, 2020, say it now. Before you start messing around with Deontay Wilder, because you know he's going to come. And I think that would be a good fight for the heavyweight division. I think it would be a good fight just for the battle who leading up to it, right? And also show, uh, you know, these guys are feeling tired with these Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua right now. No, we can we got some big things, you know, because all they keep saying was Deontay Wilder, he needs Anthony Joshua. Everybody, he needs Anthony Joshua. 
You're not going to need a guy who the world knows doesn't want to fight you, right? You probably needed him before they know, knew that. At some point, this, this information is filtering down as we speak to the casual fan, right? And all casual fans are not from Britain, right? So if you're a casual fan and not a fan of Anthony Joshua, you're going to say that he's scared of Deontay Wilder. So I hope that Anthony Joshua got a hold of them 90,000 to be fitting in them stadiums. I hope they still with him because I think it's going to be drastically lower. I gave you an example of, of people I know of Nigerian descent that are about to leave him alone because he didn't accept 50 million. At some point, that's going to happen. But that's the circus, and we don't even need to talk about it. No, we ain't going to talk about it no more, right? We, well, that's a lie. We're going to talk about it. But matter of fact, because I'm going to mention it all the time. If anybody, if, if, if more than three people keep coming here, when you see me like dumb sports talk worldwide and Joshua didn't fight Wilder, that could possibly happen depending on what my mood is. But I'm definitely not going to let nobody forget it. Just like I don't let nobody forget Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz. And just like I don't let nobody forget Diamo, the Tasmanian devil, Rigondeaux. And he's the Tasmanian devil because all the people don't want to fight him. You know, when the Tasmanian devil come, everybody running, all them animals. Right, lions, you know, giraffes, big old elephants, they running from Taz. That's exactly what happened in his weight division, and now no one tries to mention him because he lost to somebody two weight divisions bigger than him, and they it got stripped, stripped of his title that he didn't lose in his weight division. Right? That's why I told you. You gotta investigate. I think that his was the IBF. Gotta get investigate them. What is your reasoning? Gotta investigate the WBA for making uh anti Joshua fight. Kovetkin all of a sudden right now. They have to be investigated. Them sanctioning bodies, but don't get it twisted. Just put in Dome of Sports Talk and sanctioning bodies, and you see a couple of videos I've been talking about them. We need a ranking system for sanctioned bodies. They need to be policed, and they need to stop with the shenanigans in, in world boxing. They're one of the, the major problems that we're having. But back to the point, Tyson Fury feeling froggy. Say he'll, he'll sign a contract if Deontay Wilder send it. Be careful for what you wish for. Dome of Sports Talk. Worldwide, and I am up out of here.